100 videos. Yay! Oh my god! Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you guys! Oh my god! Thank you! I am the Divine Masculine in my union. I'm very unique. There's no one else like me. And the same goes for you. You are very unique. Whether you're the masculine or you're the feminine, you are very unique. There's no one else in this world that, that is like you. There's no carbon copy of you. So I create my reality with my twin from a central consciousness. And so do you. You and your twin create your reality from that from one central place, from, from your shared consciousness. And so when I say I'm going within, you know, I can't really speak for all divine masculines. That's insane. You know, how, how could that even be possible? So what I do mean is that I'm going within. I'm not looking outside of myself for results. I'm not looking outside of myself for answers. I'm not trying to go outside of myself to get something. I'm going within because that's where my source is. That's where my twin is. So when, when, while I'm going within, then so is she. So you have to ask yourself, if, is that something that you're doing? Right? Like, are you going within? Or are you going outside of yourself? Are you... Uh, you know, texting and calling or emailing or um, doing like uh, social media uh, type of stuff to reach out to them or, or are you, um, you know, just trying to get results through any means possible of doing something on the outside. And if that's the case, then you're not going within. And, you know, society and social norms and just uh, overall uh, consensus of how you were brought up is that in order to get something, in order to have something, you have to go get it. You have to bust through doors and you have to, you know, climb your way to the top and you have to, you know, do anything necessary and blood, sweat and tears to get this thing that you desire. But your twin flame journey isn't that at all. It's the exact opposite of that. In order to get there, you have to go within. Connecting to your source, connecting to your twin that is within you. And energetically clearing away what is keeping you in separation. You know, this is a this is a divine union. This is this is given to you in divinity. It's not given to you um, because you waited a long time or you really uh, busted your ass, you know, doing things outside of yourself to get it. That's actually, that's, that's never, there, there will never be a day that you achieve union by doing these things. It only comes from within. It only comes by clearing away what's blocking you energetically to realizing that You've been one this whole time. 
So yes, on a on a conscious level, more people are becoming uh, more and more aware of twin flames and the twin flame journey in itself. But at the same time, this is still very much an individual journey with your source and with your twin. So when it's said that like, wow, oh, there's, there's a humongous shift coming. Well, you know, if you're not doing the work, doing the inner work, if you're not going within to clear your way into union, then there's not just going to be this like landslide of unions. So you have to ask yourself, like, what is that? Um, what is that really uh, making you do when you when you listen to something like that? Is it is it keeping you waiting? Like, like you hear a bit of information that there's this bit, divine masculine, there's this big shift happening, and you're like, oh yeah. I'm just going to wait for it. Waiting doesn't get you there. You know, taking action from within gets you there. Doing your inner work is action. Feeling guided to uh, reach out comes from within. You follow that voice from within. That, that's, that's coming from your source. Feeling guided to uh, make a display of affection or uh, reach out or do anything else that encompasses your day should come from within. If it doesn't come from within and it doesn't feel good to do, then you're kind of doing it wrong. How else would you know what's right for you to do? You know, I, I stay connected to my source all the time. By doing that, I know when it's appropriate to take an action or if I need rest or if I need to do something else entirely or if I need to chill out or if I need to uh, go exercise. My source knows what's best for me. Just like source knows what's best, your source knows what's best for you. You know, like going through life, just randomly doing shit, you might as well put like a blindfold on and play a game of darts. See what happens. You know, you put, you put your blindfold on and you spin around like seven times and then you just whip a dart somewhere and whatever it hits, that's what you, that's, oh, oh, I just hit Jerry in the ass. I'm going to go connect with Jerry. You know, that, that actually might be a more appropriate way to live life, all joking aside, than just, you know, randomly taking shots in the dark because it comes from uh, your mind. This journey is about every step of the way, connecting from within, going within, clearing out the, the necessary blocks to your union from within. Only then does the outside world materialize how you want it to. Only then do your desires become uh, magnetized and attracted to you. So understand how you're approaching this journey. What are you doing? There is so much support for you. If you go down below to the description box, you know, I offer workshops, one-on-one -on -one coaching, I have an e-course, uh, channeled readings, I give consultations. There's so much knowledge and content at your disposal to further you along on your journey 
and you know get into union this is what you want so check all that stuff out and i will see you next time see you next time